Hey, welcome to my methods, point, uh, part six and five eighths, I guess. Continuing with the apron, I have sewn the left seam to the pleats. Um, now, when we sew this, we generally get what I call a tooth out of the bottom. It's almost inevitable. It, it sticks out like that. And normally, we fold it back, and we will see that later. But because this one was rather excessive, what I've done is I've folded a pleat inside. I've just sort of flipped over like this and, and basted it down, and that'll be pressed flat. And then I've sewn the top of the inner apron, or the, the hidden pleat, to the canvas so that it doesn't bag down when we're wearing it. Now, I've stitched on the, the uh, uh, fringe as we spoke last time. I just checked my measurement to make sure everything's right, and our mark, we're right on the mark for this fellow's waist. So I transfer that mark to the canvas. I move the edge, because that's where the sewn edge will be. That moves, I put that in the same spot. I will um, pin that down. We'll determine how much space I've got to sew. I've got that much space. So I'm going to do a herringbone stitch there. I will then sew the um, strap in with heavy thread. And then I will sew the apron. I'll, I'll pin it all in place and baste it because you sort of wind up doing the, the A line by eye. And that may or may not be part of uh, an, another episode. but. That, what we've seen, shape the A-line, baste it all place, sew it, and then the next stage after that we'll be putting on the top, top band. Thank you.